Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is a video of if I'm GM Philadelphia Flyers. Um, just going through some things. I had to do a buyout cal uh, calculator because I didn't know what I was doing, to be honest. So, the buyout calculator. <clears throat> let me see real fast. It says for 2022-2023 season, when you buy out JVR. The remaining base salary would be four million. The original cap hit would be seven million. Contract signing bonus is a million. Contract total salary salary is five million. Annual buyout cost is one point six million. Annual cap hit would be four point six. Savings two point three. Um, doesn't seem very worth it to me. I would just trade it as. But let's just say we do that. So we have what? What would be our cap? What, 13? We would have 13 mil to play with. Okay, so maybe even 14 mil. No, 13 mil. I was right first name. Anyway, so let's go to. I'm going to do goaltending first and who I would bring in uh, for backup to replace Martin Jones. <clears throat> Preferably, I would go after Brayden Hopi. Um, a little bit older, but. His stats are 10 wins, 2.78 GAA, and 91 save percentage, basically. Um, I would bring him in for a year, probably around the same amount, maybe a little less than 2 mil. Um, Dave Rudick is here. Uh, he gives up a lot of goals, though. I wouldn't, I might not even even offer him a contract, to be honest with you. But there was a name on a list, on the list that popped up at me, and that was... Vedic Vanacek from Washington. I probably said his name wrong, but uh, he has 16 wins, 2.43 GAA, and a 91 save percentage, and he makes under a million. Um, I don't know if he has an extension or not, but if he doesn't, he's not a RFA, he's a UFA. I would offer him a contract. Um, probably a year or two. <clears throat> he's 26 years old, so I would give him probably two years probably 2 mil, 2.5, something like that. Um, hope be able to give him a year for maybe 1.5, probably to 2 mil, something like that. Um, for the defense, <clears throat> I'm not signing Knowlton or Gandal. I, I, I'm debating when he's sealer. He has been, you know, playing with Hart uh, very well. He's, he's, he's doing pretty good. Um, so I'm not even going to look at the top defense because there's no point. You're, you're going to replace the bottom, you know, bottom, uh, the, uh, the third defensive pairing, sorry. So, P.K. Subban out of the question. Chris Letang's out of the question. Uh, who else was there? John Klingberg out of the question. So you would have, I'm going to go down the list because I'm not going to even bother. <clears throat> you can bring... I'm not, like, for, for me, if I was a GM, I wouldn't even go after RFAs, to be honest. They're, like, teams are going to be asking for way too much. Um, which they should, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not dealing with that shit. Um, Keith Handel, no longer coming back, hopefully. So, I would replace him with, let's see what we got. I don't know if you guys can see the list through my glasses, but if you can... Or if you did, there you go. Um, I would probably try to go with uh, maybe Curtis McDermott. I mean, he, what I saw last night, he was pretty good. I don't know if Colorado is going to want to extend him or not, depending on how far they go in the, the Stanley Cup playoffs. But if not, there's your replacement for Yandel. Um, for, sorry, for Knowlton, I, could, I would even try Ryan Murphy. I would try Murphy. I would. I could see maybe a Brad Hunt. Don't really know much about him, but I mean, I'm not looking for you know, 30 points in 50 games or whatever from a bottom from the bottom defensive pairing. That makes no sense. <clears throat> um, I would bring in maybe a Dylan Heather Heatherington. I think I said his name wrong. 
Um, I knew you're gonna have to. <laughs> excuse me. I knew you're gonna have to build some build, oh, Michael Stones here. I mean, he is kind of his age, 32 years old. But how much? How much is he really gonna want? A mil, maybe, maybe less than that. There's your bottom six. You got Michael Stone. You got some people out here that you can we can bring in. I would I would try for Michael Stone. I would try for McDermott. Um, who else was there? I forget who I said. Oh well. Um, Hetherington. I would try him. I mean, I'm not looking. I'm not gonna make a big splash on defense because. We have Provorov, Ellis, Sandheim, Risto. You don't need Klingberg in this. You don't need Manson. You don't need Latang or PK Subban. You don't need those guys. Um, there's really no point bringing those guys in. I mean, Zidane Char is 45 years old. He could be a bottom, you know, defensive pair. But is he going to be around? He's 45 years old, like I said. So he might retire. He might be like, nah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... Brennan Manelli, I'm like, I, I don't even know, or Manel, I don't even know who the fuck this guy is. When we traded him, I, I was like, who the hell is this guy? And then I saw he was in Minnesota, so I'm like, oh, that's great. Um, I, he's RFA, so I, I don't know anything about this guy. I don't care for him. <laughs> I don't care for him. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, as, as, I, as I said, I would bring in some of these guys. Maybe uh, Jacob Middleton. I mean, he's an RFA, but how much is you know Minnesota going to ask for for this bottom six defensive pairing? <sighs> Not a bottom six. Ah, uh, the third defensive pair. How how like defensive? How is like how much are you going to ask? A fourth, a fifth, maybe? Okay, you could have that shit. You know, you could have it. I would take Middleton. That's fine. Um. For forwards, that's where I would make a splash, especially if you buy out JVR. Um, you need someone to put the puck in the net, obviously. So I would have to make a big splash. And everyone knows who, I don't know if everyone knows who um, is on free agency, but we have Philip Forsberg, who I'm definitely offering a contract to. He's at six, uh, six million right now. <clears throat> so. Uh, most I'd probably give him 6.5 for probably three to four years. I might even give him seven, to be honest. I mean, he has started his goals. He's proven he could fucking score. That's what we need. Mac and Chuck, he's RFA, not even bothering him. Johnny Hockey, 30 goals, 55 assists. I mean, I would offer Johnny Hockey a contract, too. He is at a 6.7, and he, maybe he wants to come home to Philly. Who knows? And, uh, he's 28 years old, Philip Forsberg is 27. It's not like I'm giving him 30 year old fucking seven, you know, four, four years, seven mil. I'm giving of age, basically. <clears throat> uh, Manchapon, he would love to have, but he's an RFA. A lot of RFAs that, you know, like Patrick Lane would love to have. Unfortunately, he's an RFA, and Columbus is going to want a good amount of uh, picks for him. Cadre, depending on what Colorado does, like McDermott, um, depends if he's going to be there or not. He is 31 years old, so I'm not going to give you any more than probably 5 mil. Um, Perron, same thing. <coughs> Ain't giving you any anywhere any more than 5 mil. Um, Brian Rust, hey, we took um, Max Talbot a while back. Uh, former Penguin, so why not try him? He's at a 3.5. I mean, how much is he gonna fucking ask for? He's, what, 30 years old? I would probably give him a 4 mil. 4.5, maybe, tops. For probably like two, three years. <clears throat> but, I mean, the bottom six, for us, it's just, it's hard to tell right now because we've been injured, and I don't know, like, What's going to happen? So, if I'm GM, I'm, I'm handing a contract or reaching out to Rust, Fellow Forsberg, Johnny Hockey. That's what I'm going to be doing. <clears throat> you, you can land one of them. I mean, Claude Giroux's here, but, I mean, his ship is sailed. It's it's time to move on. It's, it's You have to move on. There's no need to keep 
trying to bring this guy back. If he if he wins a cup, stay. Go go try to repeat or something. <clears throat> um, yeah, so his ship is out, Claude Giroux. He's done. He's done here. So you have to bring in people. Like, Patrice Bergeron is 36 years old. He's not, like, 6.8 is a lot for, uh, you know. I mean, look at Giroux. He's 34. We paid him 8.2 mil. So, <clears throat> Bergeron, 6.8. I mean, he might want a little less, and he could be your, maybe your third line center, maybe, you have who can, uh, Couturier, and Hayes, if you bring in Bergeron, and that's what I want to do, I want to get a center for the fourth line, because I'm not, I'm going to trade Patrick Brown for probably a fifth, so, <clears throat> I'm going to try to get a center real fast, let me see. I need a fourth line center. We have Cody Eakin, but I'm not trying to. I mean, he's 31 years old. I know, I know about Eakin. I know about Eakin. He's pretty good. But there's Andrew Cup. Like I would love Andrew Cup, but depending, like the Rangers, like are they gonna let him go? Probably not. Um, maybe Kyle Turris, maybe. Um, Zach Aston Reese, I've never really hated, to be honest. I mean, he is a penguin. Well, was a penguin. He's an Anaheim Duck now. I would, I would try for Aston Reese as your fourth line center. Didn't even know he was a center, to be honest with you. I thought he was a wing. <clears throat> um, yeah, I would bring. I would try to get Aston Reese, maybe Nick Paul, maybe. About Tampa, they're. They're a whole different ball game. I don't. I don't know if they're gonna part ways with them. Brandon Sutter. He's a cheapie. Um, Brandon Sutter makes one point one. Really? I thought he made more than that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, maybe Cedric Pocket. I mean, he's. I mean, Montreal might not keep any of the free agents, to be honest, so why not, why not try Pocket? Honestly, they're going to need a center. I would sign, re-sign Morgan Frost. I would re-sign Owen Tippett and Zach McEwen. Uh, McEwen will get a year, probably for a little bit more money than what he's making now. I think it was <clears throat> under, I think it was 800k, I think. So I would give him at least nine. Um, for, you know, 900k, uh, for a mill for, uh, McEwen, and then for Owen Tippett, I, I would, uh, I feel obligated, I would have to give him at least two years, two years, maybe, maybe 2.5, maybe, Morgan Frost, I would probably give him two years, probably the same amount of money, maybe a little less than Owen Tippett. Or maybe even a little more than I would tip it. Maybe 2.45 or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so. Martin Jones, I would try to replace with uh, Hopi or Van Vanacek. Hopi or Vanacek. Um, for defense, I would want McDermott. And. Who the hell was it? Let me see. <laughs> it was McDermott. And. Damn it. See, I gotta reach that down. McDermott and Michael Stone, I believe. Yeah, Mike Stone. Uh, yeah, that was it, I think. I said a lot of shit. I don't remember what it was. Oh well. So, Michael Stone and McDermott as your defensive pair. Maybe you would bring in Michael Stone because he's more of a defensive defenseman, I believe. So you would bring in maybe... I mean, does anyone really, like, do, do the Flyers have, have ever been known for an offensive defenseman on the third defensive pairing? I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, 
I would bring in, yeah, I would bring in McDermott, if he doesn't resign, Ryan Murray, there he was, Ryan Murray, and, uh, Michael Stone, to replace Yandel, and Connaughton, um, for forwards, I would reach out to Johnny Godro, uh, I would reach out to Philip Forsberg, and I would reach out to Brian Rust, <clears throat> and replace Pat Brown because I would trade him to a, or for a fifth. <clears throat> no, I would trade him for a fifth. Fuck it. One of one of the he's gonna do kill penalties again, which he deflects more pucks in the net than anyone. And I would try to sign Zach Aston Reese or maybe Noel Chari. So there's my moves. Um, for Zach Aston Reese, I would probably give him a year. Same with Noah Chari. They well, no, Zach Aston Reese makes 1.7. I give him probably 1.5 for a year. Noah Chari 1.6. I'll give him 1.5. Pardon me. And then Johnny Hockey, I would give him. I would probably stay where, where like where I did with Philip Forsberg, but three to four years. I'm um, giving him probably probably seven. I wouldn't go any more than seven. So. One of those guys are going to accept. It's either Forsberg or Johnny Hockey. Um, Brian Rust, I'd offer him a two-year, maybe three-year contract with probably like a four mil, four mil, maybe 3.5 mil contract. Um, it's just something that, you know, we need to do. We need to get a goal scorer in the offseason, which is Philip Forsberg or Johnny Hockey. You know, um, Russ can also put the puck in the net, but he's also played with Sidney Crosby his entire career. Can he do it by himself? Can he Can he do that? Um, Philip Forsberg has proven that he can play with anyone. He can still put up almost 30, almost 40 goals a season. Um, same with Johnny Hockey. I mean, he really hasn't played well, like, he really, I mean, not well, he really hasn't played with anyone, like, really that note in his career, except for maybe Mac and Chuck. <clears throat> so, there are my replacements. Um, if you, I mean, like, hold on, sorry. Now, for the GVR buyout, you're generally going to save 2.3 mil. <laughs> because the season would be 2022-2023 season. If you bought him out this season, we would have had a little more money. I can actually prove that right now. We would have saved $4.3 million if we bought him out this year. But since, you're waiting, since we're waiting until next season, which is 2022-2023, we only saved two point three. So we kind of fucked ourselves over with that. So you might as well just trade this motherfucker and get, hopefully you get something out of it. Where you can just plug someone in the lineup. Kind of, I mean, Owen Tibbet's not a plug-in, really. I mean, he's he's actually not that bad. I, I don't really understand the hate towards Owen. Um, but he's going to score, and I'm going to go fucking nuts. Um, sorry, this is kind of like a all-over-the-place video. I'm sorry for dragging it out. I didn't mean to do that, to be honest. I was gathering my thoughts. See, I don't, I don't use a script. I don't fucking reach it down. I had to keep going back and forth between screens. I don't even know if you saw anything through my glasses or not. So, um, I want to thank you all for stopping by. If you, if you have any ideas or, you know, if I did anything wrong or if my numbers are wrong, let me know, please, in the comment section. Um, let me know what you would do if you were GM for the Flyers. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested. I want to hear what everyone has to say. All right, guys. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great day.